Okay, so in this talk, as I mentioned, I've given just a slice of the important um, types of models covered in interpretable machine learning. And those were, you know, sparse decision tree scoring systems and case-based reasoning. There's a lot that I wish I could cover, but here I'm, I've just covered this. But I wanted to, um, I wanted to end this lecture with just some simple takeaways that I thought were important. First, interpretable models are not necessarily simple models. They don't need to be sparse. They can even be deep neural networks and still be interpretable. Second, one should not assume that an interpretable model loses accuracy over a black, bar count black box counterpart. And I've shown examples where that doesn't happen. And in fact, I've never personally found an application where um, an interpretable model lost accuracy over a black box counterpart. We could always find some way to put constraints in to keep the model more interpretable and still maintain its accuracy. Third, there is a chasm between explaining a black box and using an interpretable model, which is why I'm covering only interpretable models in this lecture, because I haven't really found the need to explain black boxes. Then, uh, fourth, the modern decision tree methods are not your old cart. They are something very different than what you may have learned a long time ago. And I got you all the way up to the most recent methods on this topic. And then finally, uh, rounding linear model coefficients can go against the performance gradient, which is why um, more sophisticated techniques can help. Thank you.